perfect oil, which that's the first test fit. Ready to come? There is snap on toolbox. Van is really coming again. <laughs> <laughs> As always, Lana Man, we're going to start the show with you. And you've watched the electrics and all of that insulation kind of go in now. So, what we're on now is we've, we've tidied up the LPG, done that, we've just got that through, got that siliconed in. And um, now we're going to start putting the wood in. So, like I said, we've just put the LPG through, that's been siliconed in, taped around that. Looks messy, but trying to make it actually airtight. Next up, we've got wheel boxes going back in where the bed is gonna go off the front. So we're gonna have the bed, like, fly come all the way out there. Lala coming with his ball. Where is it, mate? Okay, okay. Yeah, so bed off the wheel boxes. So they were in the old van, but they kind of fit perfectly. So we're just getting these back in now, get those siliconed in and stuff. And then we can kind of build the bed frame. Well, these in. And we can ply up the walls, start to ply the whole insulation job that you can see in. Really finally starting to do the wood now. We've got a load of ply in the Vito. So I'll show you that if everyone watch out the way. <laughs> All the plywood. Right, next box. Barney's just buzzed the front off, cut that off. Buzz the front off the jigsaw because they were longer and we're trying to set them in without the front piece on because obviously we don't need the front piece because like I said that's where the bed frame is going to go so you'll see my terrible screw skills on a screw gun cool stuff it's actually really exciting send that baby home make sure they're flush there you go wheel box is kind of in with bed supports don't know what's next I'll see you show you in a second we're going for another organising here. We're going to quickly go for a ride. We'll throw some riding clips in here next for you guys to watch. Just a little local shred. And then we'd apply on the wall. So this is really, really starting to get exciting. So enjoy the shred clips coming up. And then we'll keep going with the bad boy van. Not too bad. Too rich for my blood. <laughs> too rich for my blood. Honestly, you probably need to go faster than I thought, but... Maybe it's just a side wind slowing me down. A couple more clips, we'll get back to the van build. For a rampage, I understand the rampage. It's so windy out here, trying to jump like you've always crashed. So, good rampage. Ah, oh, it's too soft to stop. <laughs> I wonder if you could gap it. I've not stopped filming since you did it, gave me the phone at the top. Guys, I'm on the cliff edge here. It's the mountain goat. Hard work. More of a turn in, you think, from the top? I think I'll be okay. Surely. Enough for the van intermission. Hope you enjoyed. See you back at the van mills. Oh, but it's Sunday. And these have turned up. I'm trying out the auto jacks. I'm not getting paid for this, but I ordered those at 10:48 last night on Amazon, and they're here. They are going in the snap-on toolbox. So I got this bad boy off eBay for 140 quid. The guy thinks it's 20 to 30 years old. I'm sure he could find out. Also bought the sick snap-on sticker off eBay, but. These are going in there, they're the auto jacks, but I thought it would be cool to try out colourful spanners. They might be terrible, people might even tell me in the comments, bad quality, but it'd be cool to learn to know what size they are because you split, oh, the black ones are 14 and the, the golds are 10, so I thought I'd try them out, but yeah, snap on toolbox, that bad boy's gonna go in the van, basically mounted in the back near the uh, compressor, so I'm starting to build a sick tool kit for that, and uh, that's actually rather got the Motion Pros that I got given when I was doing the A1 thing from Fly and WPS, which would be sick. They'll go in there, but like I say, today is mainly about the wood. This huge 
huge pile of plywood to go in the Vario. We'll open it up. Hopefully there's some better angles from the mouth cam. We'll see. Da, da, da. The deadlock. Basically, my shed. I'm gonna keep going there. So wheel boxes are in. Dan came and finished the electrics. So we do actually have awning lights and if this turns on, a bunch of electrics in this bad boy now. So that's pretty exciting. So basically you just need to start, start boxing it in, make the big changes to show everyone with the ply. Here we go. Nine and a half degrees outside. It looks a lot warmer than it is here. I don't know what that is in uh, Fahrenheit, but we're getting there. So I'll set some things up and we'll crack on some plywood. Embarrassingly, it's dirty, but I'm wheeling out. The 450, because we need to get a final, final bar height on the bed. So I can basically trace around the old wheel arch one and cut the 18 mil ply for the sides, because we're going to go 18 mil ply on the sides and then two sheets of 18 across bonded together and screwed together. With that and on the front frame, there'll be 18 mil on like the front of the wheel arches as well. It should apparently not need any support beams or anything. So. It'd be what, 36 mil thick ply, 18 on the sides and front, and it should hold. But we need to get this bar height dialed, dialed, so I know where to cut the wood. Bar roll changes everyone's bike, but my bar height on the KX450 is about, can you see that? One, 120 to the middle. So, so yeah, with throw housing around here, 120, it's like, 123 odd or so, but rolling on with your hand, I think 130, plenty of room, we're gonna go 130, final height, cut the ply to that. So, old bit of ply, bit thin and lame and crap and old, but I've used it for a template, hopefully, to go around the wheel arch. So, we can jigger out this bad boy, give her a little, little test fit if it looks good. I need to cut it down to 130 high as well, then a little test fit. Sorry, I'm so bad on tools, but wheel arch cut, measure it to 130 and cut that off. This little purple guy is a right angle. We should be able to find out why we need to do this. Old pencil, hopefully that's done the trick. Mark it out with that. Looks like we've got kind of a line there. Lada, come here. What do you reckon? A line? <laughs> Should have upgraded this bad boy from the Wix own brand, but hopefully we shall get through a little line. Cowboy cut. We'll go get a test fit and see if this thing actually works or not. <clears throat> if I'm honest, before we get it in, our bigger issue might be where the LPG comes through, like the kind of gap between the back of the wheel action that might be too small, so we might have to notch that out yet, but we will slot it in but wheel arch is way this is way thicker ply than the old one we can just wedge it in there which might work basically what I think is I mean I can move the wheel arch to check but we haven't cut enough like curve out the wheel arch, which is good. Tighter the better, but obviously it's got the insulation on now, so it's a bit of a bigger wheel arch, but I think it's gonna fit roughly and maybe behind the box fine as well. But I think we just need to take more out of it. Got the wheel arch flipped up. It just really needs to be out the front edge. Just pushed it down a little more and it actually looks like it's pretty much sitting flush. It might be the wheel arch just needs to bit off the front edge of it. And there you have it. That will be the bed frame. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Little box, a little jig and little thing. Little test fit, we've got one bad lump in it that I need to fix right here, but 
Little test fit. To be fair, the lump's not even affecting it. And we're gonna cover this with some Lionel wood flooring. We've got nice real wood in the front, but just some roll out sheets, stick on stuff in here. But, mate, as far as I can see, we can screw this to this, this to uh, obviously the wall here, but that, uh, we're gonna put some batten behind it to stiffen up in the middle. But really, I think as you can see, we're starting to look like a bed frame. What you do need to do is obviously work out how much extra, because I've got, luckily for me, a king bed. We've gone to 150, don't need to be that big, but so obviously I've got to cut 18 mil another bit to get to meter to there of 130 high. So I'll quickly bang that out so I've got it done. But saying that, maybe I just go 18 mil away to the back for extra support. So then we are adding weight, but we've got a big payload in this van. I'll work that out. But for now, I'm basically just gonna get the other side done. It's a bit awkward around the wheel, actually. So if I just get both those cut in, and uh, I'll show you that, and we'll get the bed frame going. Here's sports fans, second one cut. Are you out, way. Sits really nicely down over the wheel arch. I'm just gonna make the box a bit thinner. Me, just the hole. Little hole saw, just drilled for the uh, sockets to go through the compressor. And I'm gonna quickly take a bit more out of here just to make that fit better. Wheel arch, how she heard you too much, don't wanna bore you too much. Really trying to get these in and get the main frame built for everyone to see that, because that is gonna be actually cool and look like progress. Here's that little connector. Let's see if it's gonna go. Get some of the crap out, get it back. Wheel walks in, fits nicely. That's both sides in. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. Honestly, I don't really care. I don't want to work out because right now I want to put this front wall in. So it will help me get my head around where everything's going a bit better, I think. So 18 mil ply, 188 wide, basically. Just go cut a piece of ply, throw that sucker in, and we'll start to get a feel for how small the front is and or the garage or hopefully how big and thick it is. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure I'm wasting wood here, but first piece of the bed cut. I may as well go carry this one in, check the height looks good. If it is, get the other one, work out to put these two things together and hopefully not waste. Like, how is that piece not good enough? So annoying. Well, whoa, it makes the bed look so high. Front seems massive. It seems like I could have maybe made the carriage a bit bigger if I'm honest. But we're gonna be chilling in the front, but looks about right. The bed is starting to come together. Oh, the garage is still big. Right, let's cut the other one. We'll really see some progress. Whoa, nice and tight, but there's the wall. Ah, she's starting to look like a garage. Almost can't get in there now to show you from the other side, but that is more or less, if I can show you there, yo, a garage going in to the area and a bed. And the headroom doesn't look too, too bad. I know we're going to put some cool slatted panels on the roof, almost like a boat roof or like loads of things I've seen on Instagram and Pinterest I'm going to steal. Here's a view from garage side. Just looking at now, imagine we just put whole shot devices on the motocross bikes, me and Barney were saying, we could have pulled them down to 122 and had them under the wood and used a lot less ply and had a bigger headspace. But what if your mate didn't have one or something? So haven't done that, but garage is looking pretty sick. It's absolutely massive. We're comparing it to the Vito and it's way, way bigger inside than that. And we can get three motos in there tight, but we can get them. So gonna be insane. Next up, we've decided we're gonna do 18 mil ply all the way to the back, so something like 90 odd or something to there. Gonna take another two sheets though, because we've got to the 130 height, but we'll keep it stiff because we'll have Eddie and everyone throwing shit against it and bikes in at some point, I'm sure. So yeah, gonna get a couple more sheets for that. We'll go buzz off and do that in the morning and um, we'll keep this log going because we're gonna cut through this and fast forward loads of this. But yeah, we're gonna get some 18 to there. We're gonna make little shells of Motrex oil each side to look like perfect oil width, oil width shells up. So. We'll get nine mil ply on the top because we're gonna do that. There'll be a step, you won't see it because of the oil shelves. Then we'll make the bed frame and ply this. 
Out of pure excitement, we're putting this bad boy on. Screwing this one up. All right, we've got a fresh espresso on the go. Back at it again today. There's a the little lot of man. We take him out all day. Barney is on the kitchen units. He's just gonna throw the feet on those so we can kind of get those measured in. And I'm gonna make sure the bed is done today. <laughs> How are they, Barney? Yeah, they're going on, clipping oh, on. They're bloody clipping on well quick. They're so high. So yeah, doing that, taking this back out. Me and Barney basically marked the wheel arch box out. Pinned it to the back of the wheel arch. I've got two battens I put behind here to like space out the middle of it. So we're just basically screwing this to the band, hopefully successfully. Ah! So that goes in there, turn a few holes down here, put some self tang metal screws in, and that's one in. Repeat that the other side, and we've got hopefully a solid bed frame. So we're getting there, we'll keep going. First one secured in, literally shake the van with that thing. Button this one up, that's now screwed to that. Couple of really sketchy bands behind, but they're basically just to stop it flexing in the middle on support. So get number two screwed in, and we'll keep the ply going. And the back pieces, so as you can see, the two pieces, I can carry this while I'm talking, these in, probably kick a screw box there. But the back one's here because the bed, because it's 150 wide, we've gone for the king size. It goes to pretty much here. So I'm just gonna run the 18 all the way to the back. So, cut one of these to hide. Yeah. I can slot this through. Da, 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 da. And there you have it. Basically, needs to go up a tiny bit there, but that's in the end of the garage wall. Have to drill some more holes, go into the metal, some big self tapping metal screws. The stainless ones, snapped a couple of those if I'm honest. Weather it is actually warm in the UK, it's not just sunny, it is warm, and we're in the middle of cutting I lost power so I thought I'll stop and get the GoPro cutting the second wall piece in for the back of the garage all right that test bit if it goes it goes almost a tiny bit high but I'm trying to spin it around see how good my cut is and maybe just spin it the other way up it's a much better height fit you can't really see on here but it's pretty flush so We'll run it that way. It is still shining and would you look at that? We've got two back garage walls in. And they feel sturdy. Again, we're gonna go for another training ride quick because we've got to get in. It's a big one today, hopefully a couple hours out, especially when it's this sunny. It's gonna be a full, I might even put shorts on for the first time this year, which will be sick. It's colder again, as you can see, not quite as sunny as yesterday. This is basically the top back of the bed that separates the front bit from the garage because I was going to start boarding in the back bit at the ceiling but I kind of need this thing because it's got the depth before you get into the garage so once I've got the kind of upright bit of the bed back then I can board behind it because I can get the measurements perfect and all the way up to that so 185 wide we've got two little bars because I'm going to go all the way to the outside of the van just to basically it wedges so the two little black Bits have got drawn on there, I'm about to jig out. Then it'd be perfect, they just go around an insulated bar. They might need to be a little bit bigger than that. So we're gonna notch those out for now. Curve off the top bit, a little test fit, and see how we go from there. I think Barney has taken my full battery, annoyingly. Screwed us over there, he's taken the battery I put on charge last night for the jigsaw to go use for an impact somewhere else. So it's a bit annoying, we're gonna leave this for now. We get some nine mil on, and we're gonna try and start cutting the back sides because Otherwise, I'm kind of just stood here doing nothing. So one of the bigger issues on this project might be is not having like what they call like a skill saw, circular saw with a guide like Dan had, but we're trying to get some wood in. Here's the first piece for like back of the garage test bit. Maybe it's that way. There you go, that way outfits a bit better. To be fair, once you batten in behind that, that doesn't fit too bad. Yeah, there's a lip here, but we're gonna build a shelf straight on top of that, just pretty much to hide the lip, I guess, because we've gone from 18 mil to support the bed to the nine mil here on the side. First proper test bit on the top back of the head. As you can see, it's still a bit tight, 
Well, it literally won't go in at the minute. So I'm just going to sand it down because I want it to be as tight as possible. Needs quite a bit of sanding. I might even jig the top it's corners off. Yeah, I'm going to jig each top corner off because that's where it really needs to come from. Done a lot of sanding and a lot of jigging since Wynn was filming me in here, but that's the first test that has held itself up. I think I do need to take a fraction more off each side here. Just so the sand, I'm gonna quickly do that now. This LSD has taken more than a day on this van to get the ply in, but oh, I forgot the keys. Um, we're still going. I'll show you a mistake I made yesterday. I put one of the sides in when I need to put the bed in first, but basically it just means I need to do the whole ceiling first, which I guess I've been putting off because it looks like quite a hard job. So let me get some shoes on and we'll take you out to the van, show you the mistake and show you why I put the side in. Lada, you got to wait here for a minute, mate. Thanks. Back in the van. So the back top bit of the bed's in, all the sides are in. I was like, oh, I'll start going on the sides because then I can put the ceiling in. But obviously I've got 18 mil ply here so the bed frame can sit on it. How's the bed frame gonna sit on it if I've already put that there? So that needs to come off in a second. And we basically just need to do the whole ceiling apply. The ceiling, cut all around the vents, do all that. Cut some holes in for the lights, work out whether I'm gonna countersink those either in to the plywood or into the six slats we're gonna do. We're not gonna do a tangle groove on the ceiling, probably tangle groove on the sides. The ceiling's gonna just be like <laughs> spaced out slats, which should look pretty cool. So here is, we're using five mil ply for the ceiling. First cut, roof vent, tracing around the roof vent. Hopefully being good at a jigsaw and jigging out a good hole so we can sit there around there. Shot, it's not pretty, but it's cut. Hopefully it works, we've got to up. There's the whole saw for my lights that I'm currently on hold for the camp van interior. If you wait two weeks, would not recommend camp van interiors. No phone calls back. Didn't want to offer a refund on the next day postage I paid for, but I'll cut the holes in anyway. There she is. Ever use camper van interiors, terrible company. Right, Barney's out right now getting another sheet of 18 mil because we used it for the top back of the bed. So I kind of need someone to help me hold that ceiling piece up to put it up because it's kind of where I'm at with that. So I thought may as well start cutting the bed sheets. We need to do two at 150 by um, 122 wide. And the other ones have got to be 150 by, what is it? One, uh, 186. So, how am I so bad at maths right now? <clears throat> 20 to 80, that's 60. 64, the other ones have got to be. The other ones have got to be 150 by uh, 64. So I can do two of these at 150 by 122, and then I could've got one more sheet applied to the 150 by um, 64. It seems like such a waste, but to do the 150 length, you have to use a whole sheet. So, I mean, there's so much 18 mil off cuts here. I'm sure we're gonna find something to do with it, but it seems frustrating right now. Hopefully, the first three, so I got two over there by the house and this one here, the first three of the bed panels cut, and we're gonna overlay like a wider one on this side, narrow on this side on the bottom, and then wider on this side on top, narrow on this one. PVA glue it together, load of screws. Hopefully it's strong enough for no supports. It's raining, but we've got the other part of the bed cut, so that's all four pieces. So, we're going to start trying to pin up the ceiling now. Right, we are trying to get this first piece of roof up. Right, that's pinched. Here they come. There it is. Okay, we've got a couple more screws to go, tighten all that, but there's a roof piece on. Next one's here, and then we can finally get this bed in. Drill, but look, this is the second piece of the roof going in. Put some more on the lens. We've got the little McJoey McJoe stick, Barney, and hopefully it's looking alright. But I got to drill it. Quick. She's really starting to rain, but we have got the one other side's hanging lower, but two bloody roof sheets in. Look at that. Right. Let's go glue a glue a bed together, screw it together, and get that. That is the next step. That's so this is a big bottle of PVA. This is the bed 
Wood. Yeah, the bed wood. It seems <laughs> sounded weird. So as you can see, we couldn't get any piece of ply long enough or whatever. So we're going with an overlap. Big, small, and then big on top of that, so one over that. So we've got like, cover it in PVA if we can. And then, um, <laughs> oh, I'll open that all the way up. Right, we're going for a slow pour, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> Barney was oblivious to this. Quite a messy. Yeah, ball I reckon that's kind of us. Lard, are you going to hold it for us? Lard, wait. Lard, can hold the GoPro. Tennis ball. Yeah! Lila, life isn't all sunshine and lollipops, mate. I'm sorry. See that? But there's an absolute mess of screws there. We're going to flip it, throw a few more on the other side, and then go give her a test fit. All right, the camera's set up. Let's give this a test fit. It's been in here. Yeah. yeah. In case you're wondering, I'm dusted out. It was too big, but we went on the safe side of caution. So instead of getting it back out of the van, because that's an absolute mission, I'm just sanding it inside because we're gonna have to hoover everything anyway. It kind of slid in quicker than we thought, so we didn't have the camera rolling, but stoked. The bed frame slid in, and it's just about wide enough. There's not loads of room in there. And not have heaps of headroom, but we got some. Yo! Bed frame! Feels flexy now, but don't forget it's gonna have support all the way along the front and all the way along the back edge. So it's gonna be bolted the whole way along both of those. I could slide the back piece forward so it would actually overlap that if we want. But the van is really coming together. You know what? That can end this episode because there's a lot, a lot in this episode. And, I mean, what do you reckon, Bonnie? It's pretty much the it's bed built. It's looking good. That is yeah, an insane no bed, yeah. Vents open. I think the yeah, headroom's okay, but you got a bit of a mattress. It's tight, but it's mainly for sweet activities, not to sleep in. So, hope you enjoyed this massive episode. Not all the ply was done, but most of the annoying ceiling bits so far are in. The bread frame is pretty much in. And we're really starting to get there. Hi, like, share, subscribe, comment on what I've done wrong again, because I'm sure there's loads of it, and how I can make it even better. And if you've done the double 18mm ply, is it good enough or is it going to break on me? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.